how's the school year going for you? It's been great so far. This is my first year at the high school. Um, I was 16 years in the classroom as a middle school teacher and decided to take the leap and join administration and was fortunate enough to get on with Durango High School. So this, this is my first year there and I, I've got to tell you, it's, it's so dynamic and just fast paced and nonstop action. It's been great. So what did you think about when you heard about this idea of we're going to cancel school for the teachers today and we're just going to bring in some out of the area trainers and, and what was your first impression on hearing that? Well, I, I think my first impression was great. Let's get grounded. Let's, let's take a break. Let's take a pause and let's really assess where we are and what we're doing and look for something that's going to really get us together and on board heading in a good direction. So I was impressed. I, I thought, wow, what a pretty bold move uh, with relatively short notice to change a school calendar and schedule and on such a large scale, um, but excited. But now, you know that educators, public educators, sometimes get criticized for mm -hmm. that or having a, what they call the non-contact day. Right. You know, um, what is the importance of getting you guys out of school and having the non-contact day? For well, like I think on smaller scales, the importance may not quite be resonate as much. On this grand scale, it's giving us this unified vision that I think we're, we're looking for. And it's, I mean, just this morning, this morning session, you could, you could see that sense of everybody coming back to one common place and really thinking about why are we doing this? And so I think having us together as a district on this, this non-student contact day would have been very different had we done it just individually schools, as schools, for example. Um, so I think the impact is going to be pretty massive. Okay, now we're talking about Senate Bill 191 a lot today mm -hmm. and all the changes that that's going to bring. Give me the landscape of how you think that's going in Durango and making the, uh, and the administrators and the educators mm -hmm. the teachers working together to try and implement. Well, I think there's a lot of questions. There, there are a lot of questions around 191. I think um, some teachers, probably by design and choice and maybe the time they have, or, or they're more well-versed in it, they, they know more about it. There's a lot of teachers still, though, that really it's, it's uncharted territory, 100%. And so I think getting everybody to think about where we are as a district, as schools, as schools within our schools, but as, again, that unified body around what is 191, how does it apply to us, and what's... What's kind of the, the real deal with it when the, when the rubber is going to hit the road, to use the cliche of, of what do we do with it? How does it affect us? How do we you know, teach effectively to meet the needs of the tool and the requirements of the tool? I, I think it's a huge benefit for teachers to hear this for us today because, again, I think there's tons of questions. Yeah, what do you hope teachers you know, get as you know, they, they, they come in today mm -hmm. having so much knowledge? And what do you hope they leave with today on um, I hope they gain clarity in the purpose of some of the new direction we're trying to achieve in teaching, and that is going, as we heard this morning, from more of a content area-based kind of practice to that skills approach. Um, I think gaining a, a better understanding of the, the Common Core standards and how that ties into then and the overlap with 191 and how, you know, it's not just enough anymore for for teachers to have students walk out knowing things, but they have to do things. They have to be able to actually have the skills that are embedded in both the Common Core and the, the assessment tool. I think that's going to be a massive shift, and this helps us get there. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add I haven't asked you about? You know, I would just like to say how much I've appreciated this morning, the, again, being grounded in the presentation this morning of why why we're doing this i think it's always important for us to stop and reflect i think I, I think that's one thing especially in today's world we get going so darn fast and we've got so many initiatives and so many different directions we're getting pulled in just to stop and say why are we doing this and commonly why are we doing this too not just individually i think we probably do a better job of that as individuals but as institutions sometimes we don't we don't stop and check and say where are we? What path are we on? Is it the right path? So I'm really excited about that. And that, that message was loud and clear this morning, and it's really refreshing. Okay. Very nice.